Okay, now we are in the Istanbul computer now. So let's check our setting is correct or not. So now we go back into our uh, testing. Remember that we configured the RPC just now. So instead of exchange, we use RPC. Type in the username and the password is called password. Now you're able to see that you have the uh, error 403, which is expected. Okay, so if you see 403.2 error, uh, this is the uh, correct setting. This is to verify that our uh, ISA server is correct conf uh, configured properly. Let's close it. Now let's go into our control panel. Go to mail to change our setting to use the uh, RPC over HTTPS. Click on the email account. Click on the next. As you can see that there's our glass because it's trying to connect to our Exchange server using the RPC, which we already disabled. So you have to wait for a while and it will time out. Okay, so it's still waiting here. All right, so you can see that the server is unavailable. So we click on the cancel. Now, while you're still in this screen, click on the change. Okay, so click on the more setting. On the more setting, you will have five tab. Click on the connection tab. You're able to see the exchange over the internet. Select the connect to my exchange mailbox using HTTP. So click on the exchange proxy setting. Under the HTTPS, type in the URL, which is mail.condoso.com. Select the mutual, mutually authenticate the session, and our proxy name will be uh, MSSTD. That's the standard extension, followed by our URL. Okay, MSSTD, mail.condoso.com. Select the on fast network connect using HTTP first, then on slow network using the uh, connection. All right, on slow connect using HTTP first, then connect using HTTP. All right, both also want you to enable. Now on the authentication, we select the uh, basic authentication and we click on OK. OK again, and we click on the next. So for the username, type our domain, in this case is condoso, backslash, remember it's a backslash, administrator, and the password is password. Go on OK, and you can see that now it's verified. So click on the finish and close. Now to test our setting, uh, let's go back into our net stat. Click on the start run command. Netstat minus NAO. All right, as you can see from here, all these are listening and we try to connect to our outlook and see what will happen. So go on the start, I'll look. So it will ask us for the password. You click on the password, go on OK. All right, so you can see that now we are connected. Let's go back into our uh, nested and see what is the uh, connected. All right, you can see that the one that is connected or established is using the 443. In this case, it's using the HTTPS. All right, and as you can see from here, we also get connected to our uh, Exchange server. And if you click on the control and right click on the Outlook, let's click on the connection status. As you can see from here, we are using the HTTPS rather than TCP IP, which indicate that we are using the RPC over HTTPS. Let's uh, try our mail here to see whether it works or not. All 
All right, I click on the send. And we wait for a while to see whether we do receive our mail. So click on the send and receive. Okay, so we just have to wait for a while again. And you can see that we do receive our mail. All right. So the entire lab over here, I shown you step by step on configuring RPC over HTTP, and uh, I also show you how you can configure the ISA server to allow the RPC to pass through.